False activation incidents involve the ABS modulator taking over braking or intervening to restore vehicle stability. This may result in some unexpected customer concerns that we'll review next. The 2012 model year marked the first time electronic stability control became a standard mandated feature on vehicles sold in America. With changes to the software in the ABS module, stability control could be applied to most cars and trucks. Diagnosing false activation with ABS and stability control systems has become more common as these vehicles have aged. The customer may feel it in the brake pedal as pulsation or a sudden drop. Some may also experience a decrease in power or the vehicle may suddenly pull in one direction. The most common complaint on older vehicles is ABS activation at speeds between 3 to 15 miles per hour. This problem usually starts with the wheel speed sensors. A weak signal from a sensor is interpreted as a locked wheel, which triggers the computer to activate the ABS system and release brake pressure in an attempt to unlock the wheel. The driver may experience a longer than normal stop. False activations are still a problem with active sensors, but more advanced modules are able to determine if a wheel is locked or if there is a wheel speed sensor problem. Instead of activating the ABS module and causing long stops, the system will deactivate and the ABS warning light will turn on. The next false activation scenario involves the ESC system. The source of the problem can be more than one sensor and can even be traced to alignment angles. The customer may not notice an issue until there is a mechanical problem with the brakes. Some customers may complain the ESC activates on slower corners or on highway off-ramps. As part of your diagnostic strategy, interview the customer and find out when and where the problem occurs. Inspect the brakes for uneven wear and look for a single wheel covered in brake dust. With a scan tool, observe the sensor readings for the steering angle, accelerometers, and yaw sensors. Lastly, check out any TSBs and service information on the topic. Since these systems operate on high-speed proprietary or CAN serial data buses, the integrity of the wiring harness is critical for operation. I'm Mary Delavala coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.